What is up, my ninjas? A Dark Frog Ninja here for a quick Biopod four month update. That's right, my ninjas. My Biopod has been set up for four months now. And as you can see, I just fed my frogs, so they're snapping up any loose flies. They cleaned it up. There's my big, healthy looking female. And there is good old Constantine. Chilling. He calls just about every day, and so far no eggs. But anyways, let's get right to the update. As you can see, it is getting crazy in here, guys. Look at all the growth. That fern is taken off. Korean rock fern. I added a new uh, one of their cocoa huts from their old enclosure in here. Uh, that was one of their favorites, so I put that in underneath there. Uh, the female likes to sit on that one, and they also like to go inside it, uh, sleep in there at night. Uh, sheet moss is doing good. Pillow moss is doing well, that nice big patch. Stuff in the front is starting to dry out and die off a little bit, but I think it's because the ventilation here is blowing in the, the dry air and it's just drying it out, but it's still doing well. Um, we got some sheet moss action down underneath there in the shade. Um, I might have to clip these back a little bit. The fronds are going a bit nuts in here. Um, dragon tail fern. Some excellent growth right there. It's bushing out. It's looking good. Uh, I did add java moss to the log, so there's spots. That's the best spot right there by underneath her feet. Some java moss growing in that little section, and it's nice and wet. But uh, some of it's drying out because uh, I should have added that in before I added my frogs because they're tearing it apart. I tried to put some on the cocoa huts, but they knocked it off. The uh, Japanese crested bird's nest fern still doing well. I added some java moss into the nut pod. They like soaking in this, it's pretty cool. And the bromeliad, again, not sure if this is going to survive or not, but we'll see. And then the back wall. Oh my gosh, look at that back wall. Ficus pomelia is taken off. The Ficus pomelia oak leaf is still taking off. The peperomia is sending up shoots everywhere. We're getting growth everywhere. We're getting growth down here, which is what I wanted. So we're getting growth everywhere, guys. Uh, the biopod is excellent. Um, I, I can't stress how great the lighting is in here, the humidity, temperature. Uh, everything looks great. Fruit flies can't get out is another thing. Um, there's a dusted fruit fly right there, if you guys can... Take a look. See, he's trying to clean off the dust because, like I said, I just dusted them with some dendro care and they destroyed just about all of them. Um, so there's no, oops, sorry about that. There's no fruit flies lingering in here really. And the ones that do, they can't get out, so they end up getting eaten. But back wall is going crazy. We got some, uh, the sphagnum moss, as you can see, it's all green. It's getting green, it's growing. And it's growing on some uh, little grass shoots here and some grass shoots on the bromeliad thing. Uh, where the sagna moss is, so that's pretty cool, and uh, some more grass up there. Unfortunately, that plant that was right up in here, um, it's done. It died, I guess, or fell off, because they like to climb the back wall, um, and it's gone. But uh, there you go. There's the update. She's being a little shy right now, usually. They've settled down since I haven't messed with them too much anymore, and Constantine back there but they've settled down um, since I haven't had to cut uh, mess with them they don't run when I open the door because I don't think they liked being ushered into cups when I moved them um, so now they don't even move I was touching the leaf that Constantine was sitting on yesterday because I was trying to get him to eat some worms and uh, he wouldn't even move and uh, he just kind of sat there looking at me like what, what, what's up bro what's up bro come at me come at me bro but uh, yeah so Everything's doing well. I am trying to get them to breed, so I am feeding them a bit more. Uh, I'm trying to feed them like once a day, some flies, some phoenix worms. I fed them crickets last Friday. They seem to really love the crickets last Friday. Um, so I usually feed them crickets every Friday if I can help it. Um, but uh, yeah, between that, the flies, and now these worms. Um, the worms are touch and go. The female is really the only one that really seems to like them. I put out a dish, a petri dish full of ten last week, and she ate nine of the ten. And then I've been putting out a dish of 12 like or so once a week and either you know they usually they don't touch them or uh, they'll eat one or two and then that's it but she destroyed a bunch of them last week which is good but I'm trying to get them all fattened up I've seen courting um, once this week he was calling she came over started touching him he hopped off to lead her to the cocoa hut was continually calling and she didn't really follow she followed halfway and she turned around and went the other way so that kind of sucked 
but we'll see if they get it right. I also am looking to add another female, adult female to this group, so I can at least have a trio again. Uh, maybe even add two if I can find them, but apparently finding adults um, of Philobates Terribles Mint are extremely hard um, because people sell them, uh, or people breed them, I mean, and then sell those frogs because the froglets are actually, you could probably sell them for between 50 to $60 a piece. Um, but uh, people don't want to give those up. And then they are a bit of a more of a challenge to breed. Um, they're not an, one of the easier frogs like your Azurius or your Leucamelis to breed. It's, they're an easy, they're uh, a tougher frog to breed. So there you go. Also, guys, I'm finally legit. Got myself commissioned some artwork for my channel. I got myself a new logo, some banners, some new uh, a new um, title screens for my videos for the Dart discussion. Um, so there's going to be some new stuff. You're going to see it. There's amazing artists. If you have any, uh, if you follow me on any of my social media, I, I did post who who did the commission artwork for me. If not, you can ask me, and I'll direct you into uh, her proper social media outlet where you can contact her, have her commission work for you. Of course, you have to pay for it because it is her time, and she does excellent work, but she's one of my friends, so uh, I definitely want to support her. Uh, but, yeah, I'll put her name down probably in, in the description here. But there you go, guys. That's it for the, this week. I'm going to do the dark discussion later, and then I'm also headed to the Reptile, Richmond Reptile Expo, on Saturday. I'm going to pick up some supplies for my next tank build uh, and go from there, maybe find another frog. We'll see. Lots of teens jumping around. And then, that's it. Alright guys, Dark Frog Ninja signing off. Saying, Frog on.